All right, let's look at the family and child tax credit. And these rules are for those testing October 2021 to June 30th, 2022. Certainly you have to know that credits reduce tax as opposed to deductions that reduce taxable income. So if they ever ask you which one is better, a credit or a deduction, you'd always say a credit is better. Why? Because credits reduce your tax dollar for dollar, even down to zero. And then some credits can even create a refund, whereas a deduction could never create a refund. Most credits are non-refundable, but some are refundable. Most credits are non-refundable since most credits can only reduce your tax to zero. So the family tax credit, the child tax credits, they come as a team. And for the 2021 tax year, the child tax credit is actually $3,000 per qualifying child, as long as it's under the age of 18 on 1231. Now, if you have a very young child, instead of a $3,000 credit, you get a $3,600 credit. If the child is under age six, once again at 1231, even if that child is going to turn seven, let's say before the tax returns filed in April, doesn't matter if they're under age six on 1231, they get a $3,600 tax credit. So the amounts for 2021 tax year is $3,000 per qualifying child under 18, $3,600 for children under age 6, and for the 2021 tax year, 100% of the credit is refundable. To be eligible, the taxpayers have to have a principal place of abode in the U.S. So their principal place has to be in the U.S. for more than half of the year. Could be Puerto Rico too. And then members of the U.S. military who are stationed overseas, doesn't really matter where they live, and they can qualify for the full child tax credit. Now, there's also a $500 non-refundable family credit for qualifying dependents other than qualifying children, such as a child who's 18 or older, or maybe an elderly parent, and you can get a $500 non-refundable credit. So let's say you have both. Maybe you have a 21-year-old child and a qualifying elderly relative living with you. Then you can wind up with a $1,000 non-refundable family credit, $500 for each one. Let's try this question. Which of the following is correct with regard to the family and child tax credits for the 2021 tax year? One says child tax credits are $2,000 for children under 18. No, they're actually $3,000 for children under age 18 for the 2021 tax year. Two, there's a family tax credit of $1,000 that includes non-child dependents. No, we said that family tax credit would be $500. The only way you'd get $1,000 out of that is if you had maybe a 21-year-old living at home along with maybe an elderly parent. So the answer to this question is D, neither. All right, we got Alan Sharon and their married couple with an AGI of 70,000 in the current year. They have a son, Greg, who's 16 and lives with them. They have Sam, Al's father, who lives with them, and he has income from a part-time job of 3,000. Greg and Sam both qualify as dependents. How much child tax credit and family tax credit May Alan Sharon claim on their tax return for the 2021 tax year. And for 2021, a $3,000 tax credit's available for each qualifying child under 18. So you have Greg who's 16, so $3,000 is available as a credit for Greg. And you have an additional credit of $500, the family credit, for the dependent father who's not a qualifying child but an elderly parent. And that makes the answer letter A, $3,500. All right, similar facts with this, not exactly the same. Let's see what's different. Al and Sharon are a married couple with AGI of 70,000 in the current year. They have a son, Greg, who's age five and lives with them. So he's under six, so they get a little higher tax credit for Greg. Whereas when he was under 18, he only qualified for the $3,000 credit. Now that he's age five, he's actually gonna qualify for a $3,600 credit. So in this question, son Greg is only five years old instead of 16. Now we got Sam, Al's father again, lives with them, has income from a part-time job. So he gets that $500 credit for them, which brings us up to 4,100. It asks how much child tax credit and family tax credit 
may Al and Sharon claim on their tax return for the 2021 tax year? So everything's exactly the same as the previous question, except the age of Greg. And that's going to make a difference here because since Greg's only five, he qualifies for a $3,600 tax credit. We had the $500 credit for Sam, and that's a total of $4,100 in child and family tax credits for Al and Sharon in 2021. So the answer is B. All right, similar facts again, not exactly the same. Let's see what's different this time. Al and Sharon are a married couple with AGI of 70,000 in the current year. They have a son, Greg, who's 16 again and lives with them. Sorry, so that's the $3,000 tax credit. Sam, Al's father, lives with them, has income from a part-time job of 3,000. So probably still eligible for the $500 credit. Also living with Al and Sharon, here's the new thing, is daughter Trish, age 20 and a full-time student. And it says Greg, Sam, and Trish each qualify as dependents. How much child tax credit and family tax credit may Al and Sharon claim on their 2021 tax return? So since Greg is 16, 3,000 for him. Now you have the elderly parent, 500 for him. And then what about Trish? Well, it's going to be 500 for her, the family credit, because she's over 18. Trish doesn't qualify for the child tax credit, but she does qualify for the family credit. So give $500 toward her. And now we got a total of $4,000, letter D. So Al and Sharon are going to get a $4,000 tax credit for having a 16-year-old, a 20-year-old, and an elderly parent. All right, what about refundable versus non-refundable with this child and family tax credit? Well, for 2021, all of the child tax credit is refundable. That means $3,600 for the child under six or $3,000 for the child under 18. But none of the family credit is refundable. So whether you get a $500 credit or a $1,000 credit for the family credit, it's all going to be non-refundable there. So similar facts, Al and Sharon, let's see what they're asking this time. How much is the maximum refundable portion of their tax credit for 2021? So we have Al and Sharon. They're a married couple with AGI of 70000 They have a son, Greg, who's 16, lives with them. So that's a $3,000 refundable credit. Sam, Al's father, lives with them has income from a part-time job of $3,000. We said that doesn't really matter because as long as he's a dependent of theirs, he can earn $3,000 and it really wouldn't affect the ability to claim this credit. So it looks like $500 for Sam, but that's non-refundable. Also living with Al and Sharon is Trish, age 20, and a full-time student. Family credit for Trish, non-refundable. Greg, Sam, and Trish each qualify as dependents. So then we don't have to worry about the income of 3000 How much is the maximum refundable portion of their tax credit for 2021? And it would only be the child tax credit portion that's refundable or $3,000. Letter A is the answer. If they would have asked how much is the total credit, the answer would have been 4000 but the maximum refundable portion is 3000 And that's because for 2021, all of the child tax credit is refundable. And notice that if Greg were only five years old instead of 16, then it would have been a $3,600 child tax credit, all of which would have been refundable. How about this one? The Kestons are married filing jointly and have three children. They have Maggie, age seven, Bonnie, age 19, and Ray is age 17 as of December 31st of the current year. Ray will turn 18, though, before the tax return is due. Does that matter? No. It's what's your age on December 31st. The Kestons also care for an elderly parent. Without regard to income limits, the Kestons can claim a family and child tax credit for 2021 in the amount of what? And if you think you know, leave me the answer in the comments section. And then remember to like and subscribe because it helps the channel out a lot. And if you need more help with tax credits or any part of the CPA reg exam, go to cpaexamtutoring.com and get yourself on I-75, where the right teacher makes all the difference.